it up. Look, how many reviews are we trying to do today? Five. Five. I had a quarter of the I had a quarter of the breakfast. Could have easily smashed in the other quarter, let alone the other half. No, it's gone in the bin, but I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Man needs to perform. Can we just say it is quite a cold autumn day. He's wearing shorts. I didn't have any clean trousers. <laughs> Honestly, two reasons. I, mean, I had a clean pair of jeans, but if, you, if I'm driving all day, my belly gets smashed into my belt. So uh, I'm going to rule them out. So we'll do a, big, a lot of miles today. So um, I've, I've dressed for comfort today, Callum. There's no Crocs here? No Crocs. Just easy today, bruv. And black socks. We'll take it. It's also an early one today. It's, it's only half ten by now. <laughs> what, are you, what you're trying to say is, we normally go out in the evenings. Today we decided to come out and do a breakfast review, which... <laughs> which means we could probably do another lunch spot in Coventry and then get to Liverpool on time and not be home super, super late, so... We'll anyway. see, we'll see. Guys, if you're new to the YouTube, by the way, please hit the subscribe button and just give us a thumbs up. It'll be really helpful if you can. Um, we've got loads more content coming and I'm losing my voice a little bit. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> The sun's gone away now, but I, yeah. Hi. Should we go to the next place? Yeah, let's go. Right, so, never judge a book by its cover. Pulled up to this place, there's trees going out the front. He's had it. I said to him, How long have you had this for, mate? And he's like, Seven years. It doesn't look like he's cleaned it for seven years. It's the I'm not dirtiest, but rugged. Great word. The most rugged <laughs> looking place I've ever been to in my life. I, I'm speechless. I put, he was like, What have you got? This any good, mate? Anything different? He's like, Yeah, I'll do Zinger burgers. Whipped it out, and it was the best chicken burger I've ever got from the roadside. Burger van. That's like, and it was three quid. Hash brown, bacon, fancy cheese, chicken burger, bread, the bread roll, which he calls it a batch, which is a batch around here. I don't even know how you can make it for three quid. That's ridiculous, yeah. Brilliant. Isn't that what Food Review Club's all about? Bowling up to these places, uninvited, just turning up, doing our thing, and uh, hopefully Big Beast batches will get a, a good kickback from that from the Coventry people. Definitely. Yeah, nice one. Off to Liverpool now? So, yeah, now we're off to Liverpool. The time is quarter past 11. Oh, that's f***ing early. <laughs> We've got done two reviews already. So we don't have to break, break, the, break the back. Break the back? We have to break our back in Liverpool. Let's go there, show our face, get a bit of content, enjoy ourselves, and see what Liverpool's got, got to offer. So I heard there's a few good places. Have you, Jess? Yeah, and um, we've never been there before, so... We've never been to Liverpool, have we? No. It's fresh ground for us. Breaking soil. <laughs> there we go. Behind the scenes. Let's do it. Right. Got to Liverpool. And I put out on Instagram where's good and where's where's hot and where's not. And someone recommended this place. Burns. Um, get in the shop. Straight away you can tell from somewhere what's it like. Um, right energy, great vibe, good, good menu. Um, they're already throwing ideas at me. You've got to try the fish cake. I haven't ordered the fish cake. I've gone for the regular. Try and keep it a bit, a bit of consistency. Um, I've got a well funny drink though. I'll tell you, because the video's probably already out by now. Um, yeah, they've got jugs, they had jugs of orange juice. They, call it, they said they call it a Milkman's. Milkman's orange. Does orange juice go with fish and chips? Have you got gravy? <laughs> curry sauce, mate. You throw me now, I don't even order curry sauce. Well, you can get it. I will. <laughs> I will. Is oh, I will. Expensive? 
I haven't paid for it yet. Oh. I tried to pay, and they were like, no, 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 no. You pay when you get your food. What do you have at home, guys? Get in the comments now. Gravy or curry sauce? Because I think curry sauce makes, makes the chips. Is that gravy, is that a southern thing? Sorry, curry sauce, is that a very southern thing? No. No, I think it's a northern thing as well. Yeah. I think gravy's, chips and gravy. gravy's more northern. Gravy's yeah, but with chips, with fish and chips though. Yeah, I think yeah, they love a bit of gravy with fish and chips. They have gravy with everything. I don't know, I'm not Northern, so I can't speak. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Northern. This in here, um, I've ordered my classic Northern special, potato cake and bread roll. <laughs> you can't get better value than it's like 40p for the potato scallop, bread roll 10p, 20p, 60p, so you, you are, you're in. Your quid's in. Right then. We've got to be nearly ready now. Join us after the review. Wow, that fish and chip shop was amazing. Properly special. Um, Clean, friendly, like vibrant energy from them, and the food backed it up, which is like wicked to see. I think the fish chips are like seven quid too, um, so can't go wrong with it. Cannot go wrong. Um, I want to move in. It was that good. Uh, so, <laughs> second place in Liverpool. Derek's great coffee, super vibe in the shop. The only sandwich they have left today is the Rubenstein. Probably what I would have ordered anyway. So it's fate. It's happening. Derek's in Liverpool. Dog watch. Majestic Cocker Spaniel. 8.5 out of 10. So, Derek's uh, was wicked, really enjoyed it. Great little shop, a little bit expensive, but never mind that, pay for high quality. So Liverpool, we were up the road and we came, who found this, you did Jess? I found this, yeah. Bruno's Taste of America. I think that's what I think that's what I do. Apparently it's a new business. It's already taken about 25 minutes to come out here. So, I just got in to say, where is it? And he said, uh, one minute, so. There it is. Because we're not in a fing rush. <laughs> Ooh, so, there we have it. Last, the fifth and last review done of the day. Bruno's Taste of America here in Liverpool. I gave it like a pretty generous high five out of ten. The food wasn't bad, but it just kind of a little bit I had to pick my words here there's nothing to it nothing to it a bit bland and a bit like a bit effortless not effortless like not a lot of effort's gone into it um, <laughs> effortless, effortless. <laughs> <Let's see the laughs> um, which is hard we stand here now like oh man that's bad but ultimately this is our job sometimes we have to put out these type of reviews and I'm not you know it wasn't even that bad it's just a bit could have been so much better. For the just, price though. For the price, yeah, it's just, it just wasn't right, was it Callum? You've had it yourself now. Yeah. Callum was a lot more critical than I was. Uh, it's tough, really tough for us to do this, but ultimately they might watch the video and take some positives or some constructive criticism from it and get better. Because, um, yeah, like the, that's, everything was a little bit, the more I talk about it, the more I think 5.9 might have been a f***ing high score to be fair. 5.9, 5.7. Well, yeah, whatever. It's two points I, I think five is, five is way too high. <coughs> Alright, fair enough. There we go. I think you could be right, Callum, but luckily for them, they get the benefit of the doubt, which is what often we try and do on the page if possible. But yeah, anyway, this is the inside scoop. This is behind the scenes. This is where we can have this type of chat. I've really enjoyed today. A couple of wicked reviews done in uh, Coventry, here to Liverpool, untouched territory, which should open up more recommendations in the city. Um, so yeah, 
hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit the subscribe button. If you're watching on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. Get in the comments. Just say hello. Tell us where you're watching from. Anything like that. I'd love to have a chat with you guys. Um, I'm going to do a Q&A in the comments when this video or when this vlog goes live. It's now quarter to four. Three and a half hour drive home. Perfect. Early. Oh, early day. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching, everyone. And that was Behind the Scenes Vlog.